actually sent a, a tweet out yesterday saying I don't like eggs, and I really don't like <laughs> eggs now. You want to know what's hot? Simon Cowell covered in eggs is hot. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Samantha, and you're probably like, what? Well, for today's episode of What's Hot, we're going to talk about something exciting. Something that is so cracked and weird. These are all egg puns, by the way, because a woman threw eggs at Simon Cowell in 2013. Now, this is an incident that we need to talk about because this is for all the people that have wanted to throw eggs at Simon in their lives. All the former contestants, all the people he said mean things to, and probably some of you. So I'm going to talk you through the incident that happened on Britain's Got Talent. We can't show it because of copyright reasons. We can't show the sound, but we will show the video and I'll tell you everything that happened, the aftermath and who the woman was and where she is now. Hey guys, Future Samantha here, and I realized that after recording this video, I incorrectly pronounced the names of Richard and Adam Johnson, and I'm so, so sorry for this error, and I hope you guys don't throw eggs at me for this. Starting off with what happened. So contestants Richard and Alan Johnson were performing an opera song on the Britain's Got Talent live shows in 2013. They were just belting away, and all of a sudden, you see this woman come out from the orchestra with a carton of eggs. She takes the eggs and starts throwing them at Simon Cowell and the judging panel. You could see that Richard and Alan had no idea what was going on, but they continued to sing. The camera cuts to Simon Cowell, who is kind of smiling while he's standing up, but you could tell that he's covered in eggs. She sent a, a tweet out yesterday saying I don't like eggs and I really don't like <laughs> eggs now. He even removes his jacket at one point just because it literally has eggshells and egg yolks all over it. The camera then flips back to the stage where the woman is being whisked away by security. Richard and Alan finish their performance and you just see the woman literally being taken backstage. Hosts, Ant and Deck, come out from backstage and they had this to say. Apologies for, for, for that happening, obviously that was not part of the act. Uh, we'll get to the bottom of what that was, so, so well done for carrying on, you're very professional. So Simon kind of took it like a champ, he was kind of sitting there smiling. I know that a few of the eggs did hit some audience members, but relatively everybody was pretty calm and this is what they had to say. No idea what that was about. So whoever's watching, I do apologise. We'll and get I, to the bottom. And I'm sorry for you guys, actually, because I thought they were going. I thought she was throwing sandwiches at me. <laughs> Put this to one side. Um, that was so much better than anything I've heard from you before, guys. I'm so sorry about what happened. I'm so annoyed about that. But you carried on, and I love you for that. Well done. The only person with egg on their face is that stupid cow that just threw <laughs> it. <laughs> Get one idiot that yeah, tries to spoil yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, it hasn't taken the shine off what has been, what has been just a brilliant experience for you guys. So now you're probably wondering, who is this woman who threw eggs at Simon Cowell? Well, after the incident, the cops were called, but Simon decided not to press charges on the woman we found out is named Natalie Holt. Natalie Holt is a musician, composer, she's worked on so many BBC shows, and she was playing the violin in the orchestra on BGT. Now you're like, um, okay, she's a musician, so why is she throwing eggs at Simon? She played viola as part of the orchestra accompanying the performers. Holt was also a contestant on Britain's Got Talent one year ago. Well, for her, she was a little upset backstage because she was told that everyone in the orchestra had to mime the performance and not really play. Of course, if you're a musician, this is going to set you off a little bit and make you a little angry. Hence, she hid the carton of eggs in her pants and started throwing them at Simon. But there's definitely more to the story. That was only just one trigger. After the incident, Natalie wrote a piece for The Guardian called Why I Pelted Simon Cowell with Eggs. 
Everyone thought she was going to apologize to Simon in this, but actually she apologized to Richard and Alan. She said she was so sorry for disrupting their act and she didn't mean to hurt their chances in the competition. But for Simon, she said that the issue that she has with him is that he has too much power in the music industry. She went on to explain that if Simon Cowell likes you, that pretty much indicates that you're going to be successful in the music industry. If Simon doesn't like you, this could almost be career ending for you and she feels like that's not fair. She hoped that her pelting Simon with eggs would spark a more serious debate about how people could have more control over their own actions in the music world and not have to rely on people like Simon Cowell to start their careers. Now, what happened to Natalie and the aftermath? But before we get to that, I just want to ask you guys, are you like, yeah, woo, go Natalie, pelt Simon Cowell with those eggs? Or are you more like, no, that was totally wrong. Let me know down below. I think I'm on the totally wrong side. I don't think I would have the courage to do something like that on national television. Now getting back to Natalie and the aftermath, she did say that she had a few work appearances that were canceled because of the egg incident. And she also said that the media was making her out to be this wild, deranged woman, and she's not. She's simply saying, I'm just trying to make a statement. I want to make Simon Cowell feel how he makes other people feel sometimes. And some people may think that she did just that. But the egg throwing incident begs the question, are contestants fighting back because TV judges are just too mean? The good news for Natalie, though, is that her parents and her family still supported her even after the egg incident, but there were many BGT fans that were still questioning how this even happened. Simon put out a tweet and he said, I don't think eggs should be allowed on talent shows. Discuss? And this led to so many BGT fans making comments and saying, oh my god, Simon, I'm so sorry that this happened to you. Natalie made a joke about it and said that she would pay for Simon's dry cleaning bill, but I'm pretty sure that was an expensive jacket that she threw eggs at. Uh, another consequence of the egg incident was that Natalie's band, Raven Quartet, who actually auditioned for BGT and met Simon before, they were all so mad at her. They said they had no idea that she was going through with this egg prank and they were actually in another location working when they heard the news that this actually happened. Take a look at what her bandmate wrote back then as quoted in the Daily Mail online. Honestly, if you think watching those talent shows is gut-wrenching, you should try being a contestant in one. The band disbanded in 2014, a year after the egg incident. I definitely think it had something to do with Natalie's behavior and how she was portrayed in the media afterwards. I've never done anything like this before, and in hindsight, I have realized it was a silly thing to do. And you're probably wondering, where is Natalie today? Well, honestly, the egg incident didn't really kill her career. She still went on to receive the Ivor Novella Award in 2015, which is a big deal. And he kept going, higher, higher, I need it to go up at the end, yeah. I'm sore. So yeah. everything ended up like being really, you know, he very high pitched. And in 2017, she was nominated for an Emmy Award. She does a ton of composing for TV shows and movies still, and I kind of feel like her career is still on the right path, so I don't think that the egg incident really affected it too much. All right, guys, now you know the full story, but I kind of have an idea. What if Natalie came back to BGT or BGT Champions as a musician and competed on the show? Simon's face would probably be totally priceless. But let me know down below any of your thoughts on this video. If you think this is totally crazy like I do, uh, just drop your comments because this is some yoking, egg-tastic, all the egg puns that I could ever think of stuff. 
Uh, while you're down there though, you should hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow Talent Recap on all social medias and head over to talentrecap.com because we have all the scoop on Simon Cowell and what is being thrown at him. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at SamanthaX373. I'm Samantha for Talent Recap and now you know what's hot. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below and then we can talk. Thank <laughs> you.